Davis is the popular TV star of the hit show Lizzie McGuire. <laughs> Hilary Duff plays a typical cute teenage girl. Duff was a 5 foot 2 inch very attractive girl until tablets criticized her weight and she went into a hardcore diet and exercise binge, says the insider. Since she lost all that weight, it appears that she has gotten more work, including Us Weekly's first ever swimsuit issue. Girls see stars as role models, and when they hear stories like this, they feel like it is okay to go to these measures. The Media Awareness Network states that teenagers rely on celebrities to achieve their goals and solve their own personal problems. When a teenage girl does not look like this, it adds to girls' stress levels, making them feel additionally unhappy with themselves. A study by Benjamin L. Hankin, Ph.D., Assistant Professor, <laughs> professor of Psychology at the University of South Carolina, Columbia, says, Girls are getting a double hit. They are experiencing more interpersonal stress, and when they experience more of the stress, they exhibit more depressive symptoms than boys do. Hankin's study, testing girls and boys' worst events, proved that boys experience 0.50 interpersonal stressors a week, and the girls average one, twice as many. This study proves just how stressed girls on the, are on the inside and how it leads to depression, one of the first signs of an eating disorder. In response to this controversial issue, probably the easiest thing to do is show less ridiculously thin people in the public meeting. Although, although this would be the best thing to do, it cannot just happen overnight. My call to action is that instead of taking shows or advertisements off the air and angering people who enjoy this entertainment, just add a larger variety of people in the public meeting. By this I mean stop showing the same five, the same five foot, 11 inch girl with long legs and no stomach and put more normal girls out there for the public eye. For example, if it is a clothing commercial, you could use the same idea and use two different women to prove your point. One woman can represent how you want people to see the clothes, and the other could represent how the everyday girl would look in them. I feel that this idea could be easily met. Not only would it help with teenage girls, but men and women of all different ages. Although this does not completely eliminate the issue at hand, I feel it as though it is an impossible task to ask companies to remove skinny models from the media because some use them for certain reasons. For example, Victoria Beckham, also known as Posh Spice, is a fashion designer and model on the television and on the television show The View discusses how more people should be accepting of models of different shapes, sizes, and ethnicities. On the other hand, she states, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm all for using sizes, although to be fair, clothes would look better on a thinner, thin, not anorexic girl, rather than someone that is a size 16 on the runway. But at the same time, I feel that designers basically want a walking hanger walking down the runway. Although this may come off as rude, it shows the original intent of the skinny model was because they can pull off almost anything a designer makes. Even though the original intention was not bad, the result was, which is why I feel this must be changed. I believe that with the companies and fashion designers gra gradually putting in bigger or curvier girls in the media, it will double their production sales and help people all over the world, not just women, feel better about themselves. In conclusion, the media truly needs to stop... The junior varsity girls today. soccer game scheduled to play today at Council Rock North has been canceled. The varsity game will be played as scheduled. Again, the JV girls soccer game scheduled to play today at Council Rock North has been canceled. And the varsity game will be played as scheduled. Thank you. And I feel that this is something that needs to be changed. Thank you. An anonymous person once wrote, the ideal tyranny is that which is ignorant self-administered by its victims. The most perfect slaves are, therefore, those which blissfully, not awareedly, enslave themselves. This means, more or less, that the real hell is the <laughs> Louder. <laughs> what do I do? Please turn off.